Welcome to a musical journey documenting what she wants as displayed in Billboard Top 1, Top 2 songs from 1964 till 1999. We start in 1964 with My Guy, sung by Mary Wells on Motown and with a chorus saying, nothing you could say could tear me away from My Guy. Nothing you could do, cause I'm stuck like glue to my guy. And of course the impact part of the song, which we'll play and read intermittently. No bustle, muscle bound man can take my hand from my guy. No handsome face could ever take the place of my guy. He may not be a movie star, but when it comes to being happy, we are. There's not a man today who could take me away from my guy. And here we start with traditional Motown love ballads, singing of a loyalty to the man that she loves, whom she cannot lose to a muscle bound guy or a guy with a handsome face or a movie star. And this is where we start in 1964 from a woman singing to the guy she loves and whom she wants to be with. Then we move into 1970s with the Emotion singing The Best of My Love, which topped the charts at number one in 1977. Again, you can see somewhat racy attire, but still long and flowing and relatively conservative by today's standards. With a key point in the song saying, doesn't take much to make me happy and make me smile with glee. Okay, so again, she's singing to a man that she has a intimate relationship with, and it doesn't take much to make her happy or to make her smile. She won't feel discouraged because there's no mystery in her love with this man because he demonstrates love and affection that he gives so openly. So again, we see a romantic ballad, a bit more upbeat, but still by the day's measure, a relatively tame song, but on the other side, it is certainly romantic, even though it is a fast paced song. And then we entered the early nineties with Shanice singing, I love your smile, a very innocent song that was aimed for general audiences and caught on very, very much with young kids with a chorus, Cause I love your smile, do 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 do. Or here you go, like that. And so this song was aimed at, you know, innocent love for a girl seeing a guy that she has very strong feelings for without any kind of sexual suggestion. And so the impact part of this song is, time came and showed me your direction. No, I know I'll never ever go back. It taught me that. So just a small piece of it. Now I know I'll never go back. You taught me that. I can be a better girl with the love you give. You rock my world. So this is what was the tour de resistance, if you will, for the early 90s. And this was marking a bookend to the end of innocent ballad music, not just for all, all listeners and for all performers, but specifically for young near teenage to young adult performers. 
And as we'll see in the next group, there was a marked turn just a year later in 1992. So now, a year later, we're introduced to Baby, Baby, Baby by TLC in 1992. This was represented a different kind of song that expressed a power dynamic where choice or power is being expressed from the female dynamic. And so in the chorus you hear, baby, 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 I've got so much love in me. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Cause if you're gonna get me off, you got to love me deep. And so the impact point of this song sang by Chili here is, baby, long as you know that I can have any man that I want to, that's actual and is factual, but still I choose you to be with me and work on that so you better not flake it up. And so this is the first time we're hearing a strong power dynamic being expressed. I can have any man that I want to. You should know that. Make sure that you understand that. It's actual, it's factual, but still I choose you, so work on that and you better not flake it up. So clearly we're seeing an expression of, I'm the one who chose you and you need to do what is necessary for this relationship to continue. And as a number two strong on the billboard charts, it represented a drastic new type of song that became instantly power, powerful and popular, not a love ballad, not singing about feelings, but instead singing about, I like you, but I, I have the power here and you need to break me off. So I need, or if you're going to get me off, you have to love me deep. And with this ballad, we entered a new generation of, of music to book in the beginning of power dynamics and the end of the love song era. And in 1999, we are introduced to Bills, Bills, Bills by Destiny's Child. And by this time, it has become clear that a new power dynamic is being expressed. As we can see a much more pointed and aggressive stance taken from the artist. And so in this ballad, or not ballad, but in this song, we're seeing demands being made on the other party. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Can you pay my automobiles? If you did, maybe we could chill. I don't think you do. So you and me are through. And so this is a, I guess, a, some people have referred to this as a as a woman's power power anthem, but in this ballad, ballads, this song, the most important part is where we see the word trifling being used to describe a man who can't pay all of the bills. You trifle in good for nothing type of brother. Silly me, why haven't I found another? A baller. When times get hard, I need someone to help me out instead of a scrub like you who don't know what a man is about. And we see a difference, a true market difference. If we go back seven years from 1991, we are hearing love ballads. We go forward eight years from 1991 and we're hearing this, marking a true change in the direction starting from TLC where it is now a narrative that is being pushed that I have the power. You are to qualify for me. You need to be a baller, pay my bills. You need to fit my set of descriptions, my qualifications. And even if you go back to TLC, you have to love me deep and I can have any man that I want to. And this is a change that we noticed if you're an Xer, you notice this change in the music and we have seen music move further and further into the direction of 
these are my boxes. Do you feel my boxes? If you don't feel my boxes, step aside so I can find a baller. We're seeing words like trifling and scrub used in music that is going all the way to the top of the billboard charts. And from 1964 until 1999, we saw a marked difference in the kind of songs that were expressing black love relationships. In 1964, it was a ballad. My guy is everything for me. If you're muscle bound, you have a cute face, you can't get me away from my guy. And we went from that to, I'm giving my guy the best of my love and I don't need much to be happy, I just want you. Even in a disco kind of up-tempo song. And then in 1991, to book in the end of innocent love ballad music, if you will, was Shanice singing I Love Your Smile, which was basically a song fit for all ages. That was a fun song, yet somewhat semi-romantic fit for high school kids that went across the spectrum. And then the next year, we see a drastic change from love songs to sexual suggestive songs in the lyrics and making demands on the partner. I need you to perform a certain way for me intimately and I am the one choosing you and you need to make sure you need to do your part so that we can keep this going. And if you don't do your part, you'll mess things up. And then in 1999, the demands were became ex explicit. You need to pay for my automobiles. You need to pay for my phone bills. If you can't do that, we can't be together. I need a baller who can pay for all of my things. And that is the evolution that we saw in a 36 year period 35 year period from the late 60s to mid 60s to the end of the millennium. And certainly with young children walking around singing these types of songs, they have without a doubt have had an impact on the black culture. With that said, guys, thank you for watching. Here's a video I made about the evolution of black women as portrayed in television dramas. And please take a look at it. I think it will be interesting for you. And with that, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.